I managed to mine 205 radioactive ore in a single run in the regular mines using this method. I could then turn the radioactive ore I found into 41 radioactive bars. 41 radioactive bars is a lot because there aren't that many uses for it. Or so I thought. Before I show you how to farm a ton of radioactive ore on a single day, let me show you why you would want to. Because without the why, we would have no motivation to get radioactive bars. We can use radioactive ore to craft hyper speed grow. The recipe only requires a single radioactive ore, three bone fragments, and one solar essence. This is the best speed grow in the game, but you can only craft it, making it slightly more difficult to maximize. Magic bait will allow you to catch any fish during any season or weather, and it is perfect for those of you trying to get the master angler achievement. And you can buy the recipe at Mr. Key's Lona Dream for 20 key coins. It only costs one radioactive oil and three bug meat to craft. You can also craft a heavy tapper using one radioactive bar and 30 hardwood. This works exactly the same as a regular tapper, it just works twice as fast. You can buy the recipe for the heavy tapper at Mr. Key's Walnut Room for 20 key coins. And lastly, you can craft a hopper with one radioactive bar, one hardwood, and one iridium bar. But I would skip the hopper because it's not really worth the resources. You can craft a couple of them if you want to, but the hopper is just not for me. And the recipe costs 50 key gems, which is quite expensive. Now for the interesting stuff. With the addition of the 1.5 update, you can now combine three galaxy souls with a galaxy sword to transform it into an infinity blade. The infinity blade is extremely powerful and I would highly recommend you get one of these. But to get a galaxy soul, you will need to do a bunch of key quests and then buy them from the walnut room for 40 key gems each. It will cost you a total of 120 key gems to buy three of them. I only learned this recently. During the last day of every season, the island trader will trade a galaxy soul for 10 radioactive bars. And in my opinion, this is a much much easier way to get the galaxy souls when compared to doing the key quests. I mean, I managed to get 40 bars in a single day and so can you. You can also sell the bars if you wanted to. They sell for 3000 gold each. But there seems to be a bug. The blacksmith profession is supposed to increase the price that you can sell the bars to 4500 gold. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem to take effect for me. Anyway, let's go back to farming radioactive ore. I want to make this guide using as little super end game stuff as possible, so it's more accessible to everyone. Unfortunately, step one is kind of mandatory. Step one is to complete the danger in the deep quest. This is a key quest that tasks you with getting to floor 120 in the regular mine in a dangerous state. All of the enemies are buffed up and it's quite tough, but I managed to complete it with a regular galaxy sword and without any combined rings, so you can do it too. Step 2 is quite obvious. Go on the best possible luck day and bring the best luck buffing food you have. I made ginger ale and a lucky lunch. If you can afford to, you can use magic rock candy, but I wanted to show you what you can do with a normal lucky lunch. I made a minor mistake and forgot to bring regular food for health. Step 3 is a strange one. To maximize time, I decided to combine two iridium bands with two glowstone rings. And the reason for that is because I wanted a huge magnetism effect to save as much time as possible. You will see shortly how well it worked. If you have lucky rings, I would recommend using those instead, but they are not necessary. Now for the most important step that makes this whole thing possible. Step 4. Enter the mines on floor 1, check if there's any radioactive ore, if there isn't, leave and enter floor 1 again. This is by far the most effective way to find radioactive ore and that is because radioactive ore cannot spawn on any floor with an elevator, meaning we cannot use the elevator to jump to floor 100 and check on that floor. We need to find a ladder 
and check on floor 101 and like always time is our biggest blocker here spending time looking for a ladder to get onto floor 101 where they may or may not be any radioactive ore is time not well spent instead you can enter on floor one check leave and then enter again floor one also has an added bonus of being very small meaning we can get into the settings zoom out scale our ui down allowing us to see the entire floor immediately thereby saving us even more time okay so step five is optional but it's very important and it allowed me to maximize my day to get 205 radioactive ore use the slingshot with explosive ammo on any radioactive active note slingshot ammo goes right over rocks and ores and it only explodes when it hits the wall so if any radioactive ore is close enough to a wall use your slingshot to mine it radioactive ore takes five hits with your pickaxe and we just don't have the time for that now for any radioactive ore that is not close to a wall use a bomb to mine it it would be much more effective and it will just further save you more time i think you can get quite a bit of radioactive ore without this step but it does make a difference in my opinion you'll notice that because of my rings all of the radioactive ore around the floor no matter where it is will still fly towards me and this was an attempt to further save even more time because when you click on the ladder the time in the game will be paused but resources will still fly towards you meaning i don't have to walk close to them to harvest them they should just fly towards me automatically and i think it helped out a little bit unfortunately radioactive ore is quite rare and the daily luck boost does seem to play a very important role and those maximum luck days can be rare sometimes so i just wanted to make the most of it Remember earlier when I said I should have brought food? Yeah, I really should have. Every time I placed a giant bomb to mine radioactive ore that wasn't close to a wall, I took some damage. It wasn't much damage, but over time, it started to add up and I had to use ginger ale to survive. Bring some extra food with you just in case. And that is pretty much everything you need to know about farming a ton of radioactive ore. Just like last time, I have uploaded the full unedited run if you would like to check that out. It's quite a long video because there is so much pausing that the day lost forever and unfortunately, it's a no commentary run. The link is in the description below if you are interested. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do you have a radioactive farming method or some tips and tricks to make this one better? If so, please let me know in the comments below. I think I did pretty well with 205 radioactive ore, but I definitely think it is possible to get a lot more if you made less mistakes than I did. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please do consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss my next video. But for now, I will see you in the next video.